Percentage Decimal Fraction Fraction Decimal Percentage Before you mix them all up inside your head, let me help make conversions from one to another easy and fun. Converting percentages to decimals to fraction may sound a little daunting, but worry not because it actually isn't hard at all. Ready to begin? First, let's try converting a percentage to its decimal form. Let's say 35%. It is extremely important that you know all the digits places to make it easy for you. Let me show you this example to help you remember them all. 0 0.25 2 here is in the tenths place. 5 is in the hundredths place. Remember, tenths, hundredths. Now, let's go back to our given. 35% To convert it to its decimal form, simply move the decimal point to its hundredths. Bear in mind that percentage literally means per hundredths. So 35% means 35 per hundredths. 35% 35 is equal to 35.0%. So, now we'll have to move the decimal point two steps to the left. 1, 2. Now, that gives you 0 0.35. The digit 5 here is in the hundredths place. Next, let's try converting it into a fraction. To convert it to fraction form, just use 100 as your denominator and 35 as your numerator. Then, we'll have to reduce it to its simplest form. Both the numerator and denominator are divisible by 5, so we divide them both by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So that leaves us with 7 over 20. Now, let's try a more complicated number. How about 178%? To convert it into a decimal, we simply move the decimal point two steps to the left. So 1, 2. That gives us 1.78. Now, converting it into a fraction, that's simply 178 over 100. Again, we have to reduce it to its simplest form. Let's divide them both by 2. 178 divided by 2 is 89. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So 89 over 50. Again, 178% is equal to 1.78 and it's also equal to 89 over 50. Now, let's try doing it vice versa. To convert a fraction into its decimal form, we simply divide the numerator by the denominator. For example, 3 over 5. So, that's 3 divided by 5. Since 5 is larger than 3, let's put a decimal point and add 0, which gives us 3.0. Remember, 3 and 3.0 have the same value. Now, let's disregard the decimal point first. That would make it 30. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So that leaves us with no remainder. Remember, we just disregard the decimal point in the equation, but we have to put it on the actual answer. So, it's 0 0.6. Now, let's try converting it into a percentage. To do this, we just have to move the decimal point twice to the right. So, 1, 2. 0 0.6 is equal to 60%. You see, converting percentages into decimals and decimals into fractions and vice versa isn't that hard at all. Do you need help with your homework? Leave a comment below and we'll try to help you answer it. Thank you.